purpose of this video is to introduce you guys to the first theorem of graph theory, its proof and its corollary. You know what I'm saying? Before we can appreciate the proof even in great detail, let's look at the three graphs that we have before us. Graph G, Graph H and Graph I. First and foremost, let us appreciate guys what we spoke when we referred to the degree of a vertex. Right? Remember that we said in order for us to find the degree of a vertex, we have to look at the number of vertices that are adjacent to that particular vertex. You know what I'm saying? So the adjacency that the other vertices have to that particular vertex must be uh, with an edge. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's look at graph um, um, G first. The degree of vertex X is what? The degree of vertex x will look at the number of vertices that are adjacent to the vertex x. So we've got 1, 2. So the degree of vertex x is 2. Let's look at the degree of vertex y in graph G. The degree of vertex, vertex y here is 1, 2. Right? So it's 2. Let's look at the degree of vertex z in the graph of h. Right? There is your vertex um, z. So the degree here is 1, 2 because it is adjacent to two vertices. You know what I'm saying? So we've got these three. Let's look here in the graph of h. The degree of vertex x in this case is what? So x is adjacent to only one uh, vertex, right? So which is y in this case. So the degree of vertex x is 1. Let's look at the degree of vertex y in this case. The degree of vertex y is 1, 2, because y is adjacent to two vertices x and z, right? So it's 2 right here. Then lastly, let's look at the degree of vertex z right here. And z is only adjacent to vertex x right here, sorry, vertex y, you know? So it is equals to 1. Then lastly, let us look here at the degree of vertex x in this graph. There is vertex x. It's adjacent to vertex P and Y. So it's 2. Let's look now at um, vertex Y. You know what I'm saying? Then this one is 2. The degree of vertex Z in this case is what? 2. There is vertex Z. Let's look at P now. The degree of vertex P is what? So P is adjacent to uh, three vertices. Z, X, and Q. So this one is 3. Then lastly, the degree of vertex, uh, what, Q, right, um, is only 1. So Q is only adjacent to uh, uh, vertex P in this case. Okay, so now our next step, guys, in order for us to appreciate the first theorem of graph theory, let us sum the degree, let us sum, the degree of all the vertices of graph G, right? Let us sum them up. 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is 6. You know what I'm saying? Let us sum these ones up. The degree... Um, ah, sorry, the sum of the degrees of the vertices here of, of uh, graph H. You know what I'm saying? So here it's what? It's um, 1 plus 2 plus 1, that is 4. You know what I'm saying? Okay, then here let's look at, we're going to sum the degree of the vertices of the graph of I. So if we sum them up, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So, okay, this is supposed to be V right here. Uh, we are summing the degree of all the vertices. So now, um, while we are still on that, let us look at the number of edges that the respective graph has, right? So the graph of G has got one, two, three edges. Three edges. What about the graph of H? The graph of H has got one, two edges. Two edges for the graph of H. Let's look here, the graph of I has got one, two, three, four, five. So this one has got five edges, right? So, before I can go any further, are you noticing anything here between the sum um, of the vertices of the graph of G, that sum and the number of edges? Are you noticing anything between the two um, numbers right here? 
So I am at a right uh, standing now to actually state the theorem. So the theorem, the first theorem of graph theory says, let G, G is the name of a particular graph that you might have. Let G be a graph. Let G be a graph with uh, the vertex set, the vertex set V and the edge set, the edge set E, right? So now, there, there we go, there we go. So it says the sum, if we sum the degree of vertices, right, for V and element of V right here, um, we are going to get two times the number of edges. So there is it, guys, right there. You know, this just finishes up the whole theorem. So, for a particular graph, if we sum the degree of all its vertices, we're going to get two times the number of edges. Let's look here. We have summed the degree of all the vertices of G, and then we got 6. And this value is two times the number of edges. Okay, let's come here now. We have summed the degrees of all the vertices of graph H, and this value is two times the number of these edges. You know, then lastly here for the graph of I, we have summed the degrees of all uh, the vertices of the graph of I, and then uh, we've got 10. And this value is two times the, um, it is two times the number of edges. You know what I'm saying? So can you guys see the correlation in this case? So basically, um, every edge, every edge, right? In the graph of G, in G, it can be graph H, graph uh, I, or graph whatever, right? Graph G joins exactly two vertices. And that is true, guys. Every edge in the graph of G joins exactly two vertices. Let's look here. We have got an edge YZ. So this edge joins a vertex X and vertex Z. Let's look, for example, at this, at this edge right here, ZP. This edge joins uh, vertex Z and vertex P right here. So now, our proof in this case is actually a very simple one. This is our proof. Every edge in the graph, every edge in G, the graph of G, joins exactly two vertices. You know what I'm saying? So, when now, when we add right or when we sum the degree the degree when we add the degree of all the vertices the edges are counted twice do you guys get that so um every edge is Every edge in G joins exactly two vertices. We have established that. Now, when we add the degree of all the vertices, we uh, counted every edge twice. Let me just illustrate this briefly. Um, when we look at the, the degree of vertex X here, and we said it's two, it is because it is adjacent to vertex um, Y and vertex Z. So we have counted this edge. And then if we look at um, the degree of vertex Z here, we count this same edge, right, again. You know what I'm saying? And this one. So that's why we, that, that is what we mean here when we say, when we add the degree of all the vertices, edges are counted twice. You know what I'm saying? And then lastly now, guys, let us look at the corollary. The core, the corollary in this case. The color is, says that in any graph, in any graph, there is, there is an even number, there is an even number of odd vertices. There is an even number of odd vertices. Okay, guys, this is the corollary that we have. You know what I'm saying? And then we cannot just state things. We need to prove stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So 
to actually prove this we are going to say let x and y you can say let um whichever your favorite alphabet let x and y be a set of even and odd vertices of the graph of g right or you can whatever graph that you have of the graph of g you know what i'm saying respectively respectively just means that x is a set of even vertices of the graph of g and y is a set of odd vertices of the graph of g right so then um the, uh, obviously um um Draw, drawing our proof from the theorem that we have here, drawing our proof from here, right? Then, if we sum the degree of the vertices here for V and element of X, so what are these? You know what I'm saying? So let X be a set of even vertices of uh, G. So these are even vertices of G, even vertices of G, plus there is another sum the degree of v, v an element of what now v is going to be an element of y what are these so um y is a set of odd vertices of g you know what i'm saying this equals to what two times the number of edges you know what i'm saying okay cool so now we know that this is even this is odd you know this is even and the other one is odd you know so uh this is two times um the um this is two times the edges you know what i'm saying so this is this is two times the um the edges so obviously this has to be even now let's look at our corollary it says in any graph there is an even number of odd vertices there is um our main focus here that this the odd vertices um, needs to be an even number. So since this is the case, since, let me just up my page, since um, the degree summing for V an element of X. So these ones are um, the set of even vertices. Since this and two times the number of edges since this and this are even it hence means or it follows that it follows that it follows that our guy right here the degree v an element of y this must be an even number so now we have proved that in any graph there is an even number of odd vertices remember that um odd vertices we spoke about this in the introductory video that the if, if a vertex is even it means that the degree of that vertex is even so let's just look at the three graphs that we have here so um how many degrees here are are odd they are not there, there are no degrees that are odd here so in this one we have got one two so this is an odd degree and this is an odd degree so um this just proves our color that in any graph there is an even number of odd vertices you know so there are the odd vertices right here and their number is even so even here there are the odd vertices right there and their number is even okay guys do stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your day uh do comment if there is an, an, any uncertainty or you've got any um specific question you would like me to do to stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your day.